has been already mentioned. So today I would like to, let's say, provide you kind of, let's say, very short introduction on, let's say, traditional, traditional products, traditional lamps, which, uh, which we are still making. Uh, you can see here what I have, let's say, on a very first slide, because, you know, meanwhile, Osram, you know, let's say, extended uh, much uh, the product portfolio. So Osram is, let's say, not only responsible for, let's say, uh, bulbs or, let's say, light sources. It, it is right now, right now covering also, let's say, fixture business for, let's say, different, different applications like entertainment or, let's say, in the case of ADB, fixtures also for theater and then the latest member of the of the Osram family is let's say com U.S. company LED Engine, covering also let's say customized customized solutions based on uh, LED. Uh, but like I mentioned today, I will be talking only about the lamps, only about let's say traditional traditional products, which are still you know used in many applications, which are still let's say uh, still kind of requested for new projects and that's why you know we are also doing some new development on those okay so let me start again you know with some let's say short overview where we are let's say what is Osram what is Osram about like I mentioned so Klipaki from it's let's say one Italian OEM or fixture maker from Italy they belong you know to Osram ADB as well ADB let's say they have more focus you know on theater applications we have also for example cinema lamps under Osram roof but today I will focus only on the entertainment bulbs or let's say entertainment lamps okay within entertainment you know we are talking basically about let's say three three basic groups or let's say three basic application fields the first one is let's say studio tv and film so film i think especially here in india you know it's let's say very well known how it's working and let's say what is needed for let's say all the not only for bollywood but also for tollywood collywood mollywood and i don't know how many woods you know you are you have here in india then we are talking about a stage and theater with some, let's say, also special and unique requests on the lamps, and then, and this will be also, let's say, main part of our of, of my talk today. Then the last group is, let's say, uh, effect lightning. Okay, within our, let's say, entertainment lamp portfolio, we have, let's say, halogen lamps existing. I don't know how many years. We have also HMI lamps. On HMI, we celebrated last year like 50 years on the market. The very first. HMI lamp has been made uh, in 1967, but today I would like to let's say focus from 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 the entertainment lamp portfolio mainly on the locket lamps, sharks, and Sirius. At the end, you know, I will mention this orange HMI studio. This is the name of this let's say completely of this let's say completely new group, but mainly I would like to let's say focus on effect lightning lamps like Locket, Sharks and Sirius. But here you can see that let's say we are really covering, we are really covering, you know, all the let's say demands, you know, all the needs on the market, starting with halogen and ending up, you know, with let's say some special xenon lamps even, or let's say that we are also providing some lamp holders. Okay. This is kind of let's say newest uh, newest stuff because you know Locket it's let's say roughly 10 years on the market from Ostrom but let's say here you can see the newest stuff I hope that let's say you can also recognize some recognize some numbers so the last or let's say the latest development you know on Locket we called you know Locket power series and what we also, let's say, or what is interesting on this, because, you know, the very first member was like, you know, 1,000 watt, what we made for Martin Professional, with, a, let's say, quite a low CRI at that time, you know, higher than only 85, but let's say all the other members of this family, you know, which came later, you know, we have already CRI higher than 90, so CRI higher than 90, it's, let's say, usually standard for HMI lamps, so or let's say, generally talking you know for lamps used for film or theater so and that's why you know those lamps or let's say fixtures which are let's say which are using those lamps 
you can also see or let's say you can also use in theater so if you have let's say enough enough money enough 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 let's say place or enough technical technical guys you know those lamps or let's say those fixtures are meanwhile also used in a uh, in theater uh, so thousand watt like I mentioned we made for Martin 1400 we made originally more or less only for uh, clay parky in Italy but let's say right now this lamp is booming mainly in China I will let's say show later on a couple of couple of names couple of brands from China so this lamp is really amazing mainly because of let's say really high CRI so the CRI is really even better than let's say on on HMI lamps and the last member 1700 watt we made for Roby I think let's say Roby is also quite well known here in India the fixture name I will also let's say show again here fixture name is BMFL so here you can see let's say not only not only let's say names of OEMs but also names of fixtures for example thousand watt we made for Martin Professional but the name of the fixture is Mac Viper 1400 we made for Clay Parky the, let's say the the com meanwhile also let's say kind of small family of fixtures it's uh, it's a name uh, Sinus and here I wanted to mention only let's say a few brands a few names you know from China or let's say Chinese OEMs you know who are let's say meanwhile using uh, 1400 locket on the first place Fine Art GTD ACME PR Lightning Jolie even let's say the main sponsor of the Palm Expo here XM Light they are also showing here one fixture you now using this 1400 it's really amazing lamp yeah. really compact really powerful but let's say the quality of light let's say even better than on on some HMI lamps meanwhile and the last one I already mentioned 1700 made for Roby so I think especially you know especially in the near future a lot of people will see here the Lockheed 1400 coming from coming from China okay this is let's say <coughs> kind of <coughs> small or let's say short history because like I mentioned you know the Lockheed 1000 watt we made for Martin for the Mac Viper it was like 2011 2015 you know we made uh, Lockheed 1700 for Roby and let's say 2016 you know we made this 1400 1400 brilliant for seniors made by Klepaki so it's only kind of that you will have kind of picture what is the what is the history and let's say what is also let's say what was the develop, development also on a fixture side so let me then continue with serious lamps serious lamps you know it's also let's say kind of special or unique product you know combining you know combining really small size compact size and uh, long lifetime with a, let's say really high intensity you know what you can get from the fixture those are let's say mainly used for beam applications and uh, those are also let's say this is also the biggest difference you know comparison in comparison for example to locket because those lamps are let's say provided from Osram's side so there is a burner there is a reflector and there is also let's say ECG so the ballast is also made for this lamp by Osram yeah, for the locket you know for the locket we need some help you know from external partners like you know Schiedewerk from Germany CCI from China or EPE in this case in the case of let's say Sirius you can get the basic stuff including the including the ballast from from Osram yeah. and here we prepared you know with my colleague because you know I, I have also my uh, one colleague you know in Berlin who is really responsible only for the series so he prepared kind of let's say really and you can see how many how many types you know we have meanwhile and uh, I just wanted to maybe mention some of some of let's say types which are right now also booming you know in China especially this let's say 371 what the one at the end you know it's let's say not a real power or let's say not another meaning of real power it's kind of let's say classic line what we what we made for for China on the next page especially let's say 470 470 watt we made again you know as a first project you know we made for Roby 
and uh, Roby is also, let's say, showing here in a hall five, you know, the, their mega point. It's the, let's say, name of the fixture, so you can, let's say, see the performance. You can see also the, or let's say, compare the, compare the weight of the fixture because, you know, what they made on the optics, on the mechanics, it's kind of, let's say, amazing stuff. And the very last member, or let's say, what is planned for the future, but let's say really for the near future on Sirius, it's uh, kind of 550 watts, so you can see the development, you know, it's, let's say, ongoing still. And uh, nobody knows so far, you know, where we will end it up in the future. And again, here also, let's say, kind of short history, you know, of, let's say, Sirius lamps. Because on Sirius, we celebrated last year, like, you know, five years on the market. So the history of the Sirius, you know, it's quite short, but let's say amazing. And uh, really, really interesting to see, you know, how those lamps are performing. So 2010, very first fixture, very first application, very first idea to use, let's say, reflector lamps for entertainment was a Sharpie made uh, 2010 also, or again, by, by Klipaki from Italy. Then I have here one example, you know, 2014, we made 280 watt lamp for Roby. The name of the fixture was, or let's say is pointy, very famous, very famous lamp. Nice performance again, and the latest, or let's say one of the latest stuff, you know, which has been made from us from side was, let's say, for Mitos, Mitos 2, made by Klipaki again, and the power of the lamp was uh, 440 watt. Okay. This is also something, you know, what we started to discuss here, especially in India, you know, because we learned that, let's say, people are having, you know, problems here with, let's say, to know, you know, if they are getting original lamps, if they are getting original stuff. So that's why, you know, I wanted to mention here that we have also, let's say, some online tool, you know, how to check original quality, how to, let's say, check that you are really getting original stuff from, from Ostrom. Each lamp, you know, has, let's say, individual number. It's also presented. Yeah, the picture is quite quite small, but let's say on each lamp, you know, you can find you can find the number, you can find even even a QR code, and let's say with this, you can check online, you know, if it's let's say original one, or if if it's let's say any kind of fake, which we noticed also on the market, unfortunately. Okay, so let me continue then with the next. This is quite, let's say, old stuff, or let's say quite uh, old uh, group of lamps with the name Sharks, but let's say even on this, we made some new, let's say, progress, we made some new development, and that's why, you know, we decided to call those lamps, you know, Sharks Brilliant, and you can notice here why Brilliant, because, you know, e also here we made, let's say, great progress, and uh, so, so far, Really nice results, you know, especially on CRI. So again, CRI higher than 90, it's kind of, let's say, or should be very soon, kind of standard even on double-ended double -ended lamps. Last but not least, I would like to also mention here, let's say, latest development on HMI lamps. HMI lamps are, let's say, pretty well known here in India, especially for film, TV, and theaters as well. And uh, usually, you know, what we learned from a lot of, let's say, rental houses worldwide, it's, let's say, not only here, but also the same. We have seen in US, in Europe, you know, rental houses, they are using usually daylight fixtures, so with HMI lamps on one side. On the other side, they are using also tungsten fixtures. So they need for different cal temperatures because HMI provides, you know, like 6,000 Kelvin tungsten lamps or hal halogen lamps, you know, they are providing like 3,200 Kelvin. So for those two different cal temperatures, they need actually two different fixtures, let's say two different fixtures. What we made, you know, we offered them, let's say, option only from the, or on, on, a, on a lamp side. So they can use only daylight fixtures, but let's say changing the standard HMI with HMI Studio, they can get then color temperature like halogen, so 3200 Kelvin. Yeah. Really high efficiency, 
This is also mentioned here below because the efficiency, you know, of this lamp, you know, especially when you would measure the intensity, what is what is coming out from the fixture, then the efficiency is, let's say, up to four times higher than the halogen lamp. Uh, on the next page, you know, I will, let's say, show also some numbers, also, let's say, show some, let's say, alternatives, which could be replaced by, by this lamp. So, it means, you know, you would need, let's say, less fixtures for the, for the film sets. You can reach also, let's say, lower costs, because no need also for filters, you know. You can also spend, let's say, less money for the, for the energy because of, let's say, higher efficiency of this lamp. And also, what we made, you know, for on, on a standard, standard HMI lamps, you know, and it's here even better. All the UV light, you know, what is coming out from the lamp is blocked by the special or specially made glass mixture, which has been also patented. So there is one patent, you know, from us from for the glass mixture, and then another one for the for the whole concept of the lamp. Okay, like I mentioned, you know, here are some numbers, but I'm not sure if this will be also really really visible. But what I try to let's say compare here. HMI Studio 200 watt, the light intensity on a naked lamp would be, let's say, comparable to, for example, to HPL 575 or, let's say, 500 watt halogen lamps. Anybody who is, let's say, using the halogen stuff, you know, those guys are really familiar also with those numbers. 400 watt comparable, you know, to 750 watt and so on and so on. So. Here you can see really kind of, let's say, much higher, much higher efficiency with the HMI Studio. Okay, this would be so far all from my side, so we can open right now the discussion, but let's say if you will he have, let's say, any kind of detailed questions, or let's say if you would like to, let's say, learn much more about, let's say, those products, we have our booth in Hall 1, if I'm not mistaken, so we have also, let's say, our colleagues here from India. We are here also with my colleague from, from, from Italy, who is really specialist, for example, for serious stuff. So please come to us and let's say we can discuss anything what you want to, let's say, know. But right now we have also some time for a short discussion here. How is it uh, currently facing the problem where the uh, main hashtag which is going around called save stage lighting because of the uh, non-efficiency of light which, which is being used currently? And uh, people are asked to come up with an alternative source of light, lighting. And so now, Osram being the main uh, provider of lamps, how are you all trying to fight this uh, situation or what are you all trying to do in terms of this? This is actually, you know, interesting, you know, mainly in theater business because, you know, theater, theater, let's say, customers, especially in Europe and, let's say, US as well, those are, let's say, most conservative customers, you know, what we, what we, let's say, ever, what we ever had. So they are still, let's say, requesting a lot of halogen lamps. But on the other side, for example, for, let's say, new theaters, for new installations, they are also requiring more and more LED. And that's why, this was also the reason why we acquired, acquired ADB, for example, ADB from France, because, you know, those guys are really dealing more or less mainly with, the, let's say, lights for, 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 AD, uh, for theater. And uh, they mentioned, for example, because, you know, one part is the light itself, or let's say, lightening fixtures. But the other side is also, let's say, how to control the fixtures. So you need also, let's say, kind of control panel. And what we learn, especially from them, when they are making, let's say, new panels, you know, they are keeping old stuff, or let's say, they are keeping all the fi features, you know, of this control panel for halogen still, but all already providing, let's say, the newest, or let's say, programming the newest stuff also for the LED. Uh, so it's right now kind of, let's say, combination. Nobody is, let's say, nobody is really so far able to say or, let's say, to, to kind of predict, you know, when the halogen will be replaced completely. 
I would say it will be never completely replaced, but we will see how it will be, let's say, kind of, what will be the ratio in the future. So far, we are telling, let's say, we are, we are let's say, this is also kind of guess from our side, especially in theater, you know, still more than 80% is, let's say, covered by halogen. Uh, what's the difference in technology uh, uh, with the lights that's being used in tracks on Osram and uh, what y'all are doing right now? Just a simple uh, difference. Traxon, if I, because I'm really n n not, uh, not the right guy, or let's say not a specialist, but let's say Traxon, you know, they are also doing a lot, lot of, let's say, electronics. Yeah, so maybe more electronics than, let's say, uh, light sources or, let's say, lightning fixtures. But they really know very well, you know, how to combine or let's say how to program this stuff. Right now, you know, what is also booming, you know, in China, uh, what I learned last week or let's say b week before, it's, they call it city beautification. So they are right now, you know, installing LED products, you know, LED, let's say small lightning fixtures directly on buildings, you know, and let's say making huge area or let's say really huge area in a city is like, you know, pr projecting different information, making some, let's say, promotions and so on. So this is different, you know, this is different stuff, you know. Maybe they have, let's say, less to do with entertainment or almost, almost, let's say, nothing to do. But right now, you know, they are really focusing on stuff like city beautification, for example. No questions more? So then I would say thank you very much. And like I mentioned, you know, we are here in a whole one on our booth, so anytime you are welcome to. Or number five, sorry. Number five? Sure? Okay. Then number five. Thank you very much.